a bag of bags is always a good place to start opening mail. Two different packages of meter probes and some red and black binding post sort of jacks. One of them came with these alligator clip probe attachment tips. And I was wondering why these are kind of crooked. Looks like the probe tips got damaged, bent in shipping. The other set seems to be okay. <laughs> so that's one reason I ordered two. So I could at least hope I receive, and in good condition, at least one set. Maybe I'll have to open a claim. If they're still usable, there's actually something else that I want to do. So maybe I can keep these aside. Put the tip caps back on. I have an application where I only want this end of it with the plugs. So I'm probably going to chop off and sacrifice the probe tip ends just so I have a cable like this with these plugs. The other thing I wanted, and it seems both of these are, silicone, not the plastic thing. I basically use these probes on any meters I can. This one is silicone as well, so they're easy to work with and hopefully temperature resistant if you knock the soldering iron against it. But then I have these other ones of similar style, but these are PVC or whatever. Definitely not as easy to work with. So with this, in the project I'm going to be doing, if I cut the ends off of here and I don't care if these were intact, I got these jacks which have those banana sockets that are compatible with these. So I can panel mount this and plug these in and it's a lot safer if you have higher voltages by any chance on here. So that's what I was really looking to achieve and that's all got to do with this vacuum tube socket stuff that I was receiving these parts for recently. So I can put an amplifier vacuum tube in here then plug this into where the tube is supposed to go in an amplifier and I can tap into where I need to so I can measure current and stuff like that. So if I have two wires coming out of here, I plug that into the amplifier. These wires will have those banana plugs on it. There will be a separate box with these banana jacks. So these probes plug in relatively safely and I can measure the current on these vacuum tubes. So ongoing project stuff. This one I ordered a long time ago, a couple of years ago. Addressable LEDs, SK6812, 3.5 by 3.5 millimeters. So being smaller than the 5 by 5 millimeter typical LED strip, I wanted something a little compact. I have a PCB project where I want eight of these on the board. I still have to do some experimenting and make sure I know how to drive these, but I ordered them just in case I ever might need them and now I finally have a project to use those. Now there's several things of the same category. Sliced right on through the whole thing. So the first item, these metal project boxes, screws down on the underside. Previously I bought these smaller ones and basically guitar project boxes. So this size is close to this style pedal and this size is similar to this style pedal. So if I'm going to be making some stuff, if you can't jam it all into something like that, maybe you have more controls or just a bigger circuit board. Sometimes you need a bigger project box. Also, of course, you need on off switches and possibly a way to mount those LEDs. Those plastic ring clip things can be helpful. So. I bought nine of these nine pin push on push off switches. So three pulls double throw. 
so you can wire this up as you need, including one of the poles dedicated just to turning on the LED. And if I want to actually put one of these ring clip things on the LED, that can push in there. The other part goes on. Once you force this in and snap it together, plus it's mounted to a circuit board, it'll generally stay where you want it, and it just makes it a more polished project. This one, it's supposed to be lint-free wipes. I can tell because it's not very heavy. There's supposed to be a thousand in here, and they market this on AliExpress for maybe nail polish remover or that kind of thing. So what I'm hoping, I can use it with things like flux remover to wipe PCBs. I've been using paper towel, which does leave a lot of strands behind. And I don't necessarily expect that to be perfect either, but already it's more robust than a paper towel. It's still holding together, and yeah, it looks relatively lint-free, so I think that will do fine. We'll see over time. And to help get organized, which is a perpetual thing, sample book binders for surface mount component organizing. I count 15 of these, so if there's 15 in each binder. Now I can take strips of capacitors, resistors, LEDs, even diodes, put them in here, label them, and have quicker access to them. There's a bunch of LEDs, there's some transistors, so if I can get them transferred over somewhere like that, I think things would go a lot better. So the usual combination of trying to do things better as time goes on, get better organized, and parts for upcoming projects. Thanks to Patreon and channel members for making this possible.